how to quickly remove the PayPal yellow button from your PayPal smart buttons. Here you can see that I have two buttons. One is PayPal, another is debit or credit card. So here on another screen, you can see that we have only debit or credit card button. So let me show you how you can remove uh, this yellow button and get rid of this and then you only uh, integrate debit or credit card button and accept the payments uh, using credit card all right so let me create one folder here so here we have another, a folder that is paypal for example and inside of it i'm going to create a file that is without yellow dot html inside of this file I'm going to write some code so here we have the editor inside of it I have opened this file now I'm again going to uh, the PayPal button integration so here we have some code that is already created by PayPal if you want you can actually go to developer.paypal.com forward slash demo forward slash checkout and you will be landed to here so I'm going to copy this and paste it into this file and let me save these changes once I saved then if you will refresh uh, sorry I'm going to close both these tabs and I'm going to open this file and here here we go now you can see that we have two buttons and now we are interested to uh, put only debit or credit card button and remove yellow PayPal, PayPal button so let's go to the code and inside of it I'm going to define one variable so variable funding underscore sources equals to PayPal dot funding dot credit then you have to add here PayPal dot funding dot card so this definition is just helping us to add only card except all other payment methods and then after we need to loop it we have to write here funding sources dot for each and inside of this for each I am going to write here the anonymous function and here I am going to define one variable that is funding sources funding source maybe and then after here we have curly brace so I am going to close this curly brace no, not over here but at the end. So here you, here you can see that I have uh, I have added here the closing curly brace. Now let's save these changes and then after at the end you can see that we have this curly brace closing and just below this we are going to write funding source is equal to funding source all right then you need to save these changes let's refresh the page again and see how it looks here we go now you can see that we have removed that yellow PayPal, PayPal button and if you are interested to uh, keep it uh, on the center how you can do that you need to define some CSS for example style inside of it I have actually this PayPal button container so I'm going to put hash because this is an ID and then after you should write here text aligned center and another thing is margin top that is for example 250 pixel let's save these changes and let's refresh again now you can see that we are good to go we have the button of debit or credit card if you are clicking on it then you will get a form where you have for example card details expiry expires security code and billing address and then after you can actually uh, click on buy now to buy now to buy all the things all right so this is one of the best thing that uh, we have actually uh, seen right now if you are thinking this video was useful then please like this video also subscribe this channel and if you need such type of codes you can connect me because I have already added the contact details below in the description thank you once again see you in the next video